Good afternoon, Mikael. Good afternoon. Yes. Ay, is Dale, ano, around? Opo, oh, sir. Pero parang hindi po pata nyo nabasa yung chat po. Hmm, okay. Kasi hindi po siya nag-simple. Oo oh, nga. Ay, kasi mahaba-haba itong topic natin eh. That's why I need to be early. And then, I'm also aware of the of 2.30 time, no? So, yeah, medyo inagahan ko ng konti. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, hindi regular po ba yun? Kama yan? Ah, hindi naman. Uh, May siguro, regular po ba? Ngayon lang siguro. Ngayon lang. But, uh, we'll, ano, uh, resume 1 o'clock. Kung ano yung availability. Ngayon lang kasi bulk, bulk yung discussion natin, eh. I will, ano, I'll try to Uh, complete the functions yung mga readings para at least next week application na ako so what would happen during week number 6 if it's will if the fine prelim exam will be moved uh, uh, a week after ano ba yan may um, may mga required ano bang estudyante you're required to attend even virtually no to the conference wala po po silang <clears throat> sinasabi na requirement pero alam ko lang po wala pong klase sa week po na yun. within that week because of the ano oh kasi normally okay. nung actual kasi nga kung kung if not for covid no we could be there no actually almost annually no since uh, three years ago i've been uh, going to bethany no so Yun. Anyway, so so within that week, there's no class. So week six will be moved on the following week. So that for at okay. least you have a uh, ample time to review, no? Because by next week, I I need to discuss the applications, application of derivatives already. No? So medyo sabi ko nga crash course tong ano natin, eh. prelim period, and then midterm and finals that would be uh, integral calculus. Okay. Sige. Uh, we could start. Perhaps we could already start. Let's uh, open in a word of prayer first. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace. Thank you for sustaining us throughout the week. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Even today, as we have our Calculus 2 class, I pray for uh, Dale and Micaela for their studies. Continually guide them. And... Uh, Continually give them wisdom in their respective ministries. Be with us, Lord, on the duration of the time uh, that we will be having this lesson. And uh, may your grace be upon us, Lord, as uh, we continue and reflect on your goodness to us. Giving this uh, uh, calculus, uh, we could always reflect your uh, our goodness to us, Lord, through this uh, course content. Be with us for the rest of the day. Bless your people. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, no, so we could start. Yeah. pag interchange ko tong slides na ng church saka ng ano, Bethany. Ayan, okay. Kaya pala wala dun sa ano. So anyway, this just a recall of our our topic last time okay we already defined the de derivative of a function in terms of a limit okay so practice din to no kailangan din na in, in fact you could uh, compute other formula using this derivative uh, uh, expression in terms of limit now we could always uh, uh, go go back to this now this the ano actually for uh you may forget every formula except for the limit formula because this is the mother of all formulas. Now, you could always go back to this formula, derive uh, derive the formula now, for algebraic functions. Okay? So, we already done with this. Am I right, Mikaela? I, I think I, I'm late in sending the notes, eh, but... Uh, okay. okay. I'll just would like to... Uh, here on our derivative of an exponent no i need to change my background to white because i cannot see the editing of the equation when it's blue so anyway 
So, example here, no? Can you give me an idea of how to solve this? This simple, uh, I would say it's a simple uh, a binomial. You're getting the derivative of this one using this pattern, this one. You raise to n, your u is actually x squared plus 1, your n is 3. So, by mere substitution, uh, we could uh, say, uh, we could say that uh, this is equal to 3 times, times 1. Of course, the exponent, the exponent is uh, it's intact, no? So, nothing changed inside the parentheses except for the external uh, exponent, which is cubed. That becomes squared because uh, u is equal to x squared plus 1. So, that becomes squared here. Okay, make sense? So, pa following the pattern, no, of u is equal to x squared plus 1, that becomes 3x squared plus 1, quantity squared, derivative of, then you get the derivative of what is inside. Okay. So, derivative of what is inside. So, x squared plus 1. Ayan, medyo ano na siya. Baba pa ako siya. Then, I will make this some exponent here. Dito kasi mas nakikita ko kaysa blue background. And we know, uh, can you continue? What is the derivative of x squared plus 1? 2? 2 what? Uh, 2x pala. 2x. Kasi 2x eh. X mi 2 minus 1, x matitira pa rin. So yun na lang, derivative of 1 is 0. So 2x times 3, that would become, on my end, it's, uh, sige, sulat ko pa rin. Copy natin to. Oh, so that becomes times 2x, okay? And then you could further simplify. Okay, so that becomes 6x. 6x na lang. Factored form, okay na to. Okay. So that's the idea. I just would like to demonstrate this using our octave. Okay, x squared plus 1 cubed. So, the command is dip x squared plus 1 and then you have cube. However, to make it sure, I will make use of double parenthesis here. Para yung cube kasama dun sa uh, derivative. Can you see? Medyo ma maliit lang na. I already initialized yes. the symbolic command XYZ. So, babasahin niya na to. Nako, naging inactive pa tuloy ako. Okay, good. Okay, error. Ba't kaya naging error to? Ay, hindi ko na ano. Teka, symbolic nga eh. Hindi niya na, ano, na, nakalimutan niya, seems. X, Y, Z. Yan. Tagal niya mag-compute, no? Kasi, online to, eh. Okay, so that's the answer. 6X, can you see from here? 
6x times the quantity uh, x squared uh, plus 1 quantity squared. So that's the that's the answer. No? Okay, so let's move on he from here. That's no? just a recall example. Next is actually uh, an applied application is the radical. This one. So derivative of square root of u is equal to du dx over 2 square root of 2. Actually, the concept of this, no, prior to this formula, okay, prior to this formula, uh, yung relation ng, ng power no, sa radical. So, if you may recall that, okay, uh, since u square root of u is equal to u raised to 1 half, if you may recall that. That's the square root of u is equal to u raised to 1 half. So, this is again, yan eh. Ayan nyo mga bulls ay yung ano. Okay. So, that's the equivalency, no? Now, if we will apply this, if we will apply that to the x-power formula a while ago, so, ano mangyari? Bababa yung 1 half, di ba? 1 half dito. U raised to 1 half minus 1. And one, what is 1 half minus 1? Um, negative 1 half. Negative 1 half, correct. And to make it positive, what will you do with that uh, phrase? That negative 1 half thing. To make it positive. You will put it down the denominator to make it positive. So, if... Uh, okay, I would... So, doon nakuha yun eh, yung relation na yun. So, if I will have the derivative here. Of u raised to 1 half. Okay. So, by, by virtue of formula. Oops, lumagpas. So, this is equal to 1 half. Okay, 1 half na agad dyan, di ba? 1 half. Okay, and then u raised to yung kanina, u raised to 1 half minus uh, 1. So, that would become a uh, uh, negative 1 half, right? Okay, the derivative of u is uh, nothing. No? You cannot, uh, so, we could simplify this. Okay, so, this becomes negative 1 half. Negative 1 half na lang to. Okay. So, ang implication yan is Dale around. Oh, Dale, how are you? We're, we're having an earlier lecture today, no? As I have given a uh, notice in your group chat. So, that we could maximize our time in uh, looking into these uh, functions both for algebraic and transcendental functions. Okay? How's the power there, Dale? Okay, okay na ba? Hindi na nagkakaroon ng interruption? Uh, okay naman po, sir. Kaso nandito pa po ako sa classroom, sir, sa 
Christian school po kakatapos po ng klase. So, ah, meron po. pa. Ano yung actual school in your in your church? Or Yes po sir. I mean, may history po ng church po. Christian ah, okay, school okay. sir. Yeah, just go ahead, no? Okay lang, okay lang naka ano ka. So, you don't need to have your cam. It's okay. So, kasi kailangan kong agahan kasi mahaba yung topic natin. So, that's my purpose. Okay, I'll just continue here. Okay no? lang po, sir. Off-cam na lang po muna oh, ako. Sige. Yes, yes. Habang nag-aayos po dito. Okay, okay. Noted, noted. Okay, so from here, so babalik mo siya doon sa bababa ko na to. Okay, so ano mangyayari sa kanya? One half pa rin, nandun, no? Pero nandun na siya. Pag kinuha mo yung reciprocal niyan, magiging positive to. Yung exponent. So, magiging dito na siya sa denominator, u. u raised to 1 half na lang. Okay? And what is u raised to 1 half? Uh, Mikaela. Square root of u. Square root of u. Ayan, babalik tayo dun. Kaya, actually, I'm where I'm showing you the derivation. No? 2 square root of u. So, ganyan yung mangyayari dyan. Ayan, du. Whatever is the, of course, yun sa dulo, whatever is the radicand, meaning the number inside the radical sign. So, it needs to be du. Du over dx, yan. Kaya pansin mo, ito yun, no? Okay, medyo inangat ko lang sa din numerator tong du over dx but still the same. That's how how you derive it. Okay? It's based from the power formula or the exponential formula that we have. Uh, kaya you could apply this using cube root, no? Pag cube root ano 'yun? Ano siya? U raised to what? Pag cube root One third. One third. Three two raised to. And one third din. U raised to one third. Mm -mm. So, et cetera, et cetera. One over three po sa sabi ko pa. Ah, okay. Three lang narinig ko. <laughs> so, yeah. Noted, noted. So, it's uh, U raised to one third or one over three. Okay? Now, let's look briefly on this uh, formula. Since we already derived, you don't need to show this up anymore. No, hindi na pwede, hindi na kailangan pakita yan. May formula na tayo. Eh. We already derived the formula. So, we could just elaborate this uh, uh, expression and sub direct substitution na. We could always uh, direct substitute substitute this. No? By, uh, so, what will be your u? u is equal to 2x minus 1. So, so pwede na agad natin yan na uh, kunin yung derivative. Dito. Kung papasin mo yung formula, you could just uh, directly apply. Uh, automatic yun, yung derivative of... Oops, teka. Ayan. So, 2x minus 1. That would be your numerator over 2 square root of u. That is 2x minus 1. Okay. So, what's the derivative of 2x minus 1? Guys, what's x? x? X lang? X po. 2x minus 1? Derivative of 2x minus 1? 
Ah, kinansel nyo na kasi. Actually, 2 ang sagot. 2x eh. Di ba? Derivative of 2x. Tanggal si x, di ba? Kasi x raised to 1 eh. Tama ba ako? O tinanggal nyo yung 2? Which is... Sedalit ko po. O then, what can you say? Say, derivative of 2x minus 1. 2 na lang, di ba? Dale? Sir, 2 po. Nalito lang, sir. Nalito ka rin. Pareho kayo nalito. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, magkasabay kayo. Yung ano. Okay. Sige, no problem. Ayan. So, ah, dito na. Teka. Wait. Okay. No? So, dito, 2x na to. So, magkakaroon tayo ng cancellation. So, ito, 2 na lang. Ayan. So, of course, we could always simplify this. Tingnan natin si kay Matlab, ah, for verification purposes. So, tanggal. Parang dumobling equal sign ko. So, 1. So, wala na to. So, cancel na yung 2. Okay, let's see if whether... Uh, Paliitin ko nga ito. Okay. So that I could have just a view. Okay. So, square root of 2x. What is the command for square root? Derivative or differential of square root, SQRT. That's the command for uh, MATLAB 2 times x minus 1. Let's see how uh, MATLAB interpret this. Uy! Mukhang kamukha, no? What do you think? Guys. Can you see? Can you see? Parehas, no? Okay, good. At least uh, yung appreciation ng ng computer saka yung ating manual calculation ay pareho. Okay? How about this? Uh, I want you to solve the two of you. Briefly. Example number two. Just give me the answer. Don't, don't octave, ah. Uh, I need manual computation here. Uh, you could solve. Kita nyo naman guys, no? E example 2. Yes. Okay. Uh, kindly solve and then give me your answer. Just, you could just directly substitute the formula, no? You don't need to derive. Since we already derived the formula, you just uh, uh, make use of the formula. So, automatic yan. Uh, du over dx numerator all over 2 times square root of uh, 2x squared. Na, magkakatalo na lang guys sa numerator. Yung numerator. Okay, can I hear an answer?
Sir, sa akin po ano. Hmm, sige, numerator. 4x minus 3. Minus plus? Ay, plus po. Oh, plus. Oh. Sir, plus po, plus po. Ayan, oh, they'll agree sa plus. Okay, then the numerator, you just need to rewrite this. Kasi derivative of 2x squared is 4x, 3x is 3, minus 1, 0. So, no need to do that. And then you just rewrite the u here. Okay? So, just uh, you need to rewrite the u here. Now, uh, so I suppose that's already an answer. Now, you don't need to simplify this further. Unless there are some common factors both for numerator and denominator. Now, that's the only condition. And I suppose, based on, as I observed here, so wala namang masyadong, uh, wala siyang common factor. No? So, so, pwede ng as is to. Uy, lumiid yung, ano nyo, teka. Palakay natin. Ayan. Sir, may question po ko, sir. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Bakit po sir dun sa numerator, hindi po sinama yung square root ng cube? Hindi sinama yung square root. Ah, uh, saan isasama? Ah, uh, Mikael. Yung po ba sila po siya? Ay, yun yung sa numerator po, di ba po? Oo. Oh. D, D, U over D. D, U over D, D X po siya. Yes, yes. Oh. Bakit, hindi po talaga nasama yung square root po. Oo, kasi yung square root, pag sinama mo, square root of u. Ang kukunin mo lang yung derivative, u. Yung nasa loob ng radical. Hindi kasama yung radical dun sa u. Kasi if you will look at the formula, it's u. So whatever is the radical or the number to be extracted, no in terms of square root yan lang yung ilalagay mo doon sa du dito so kung ang du mo ay 2x minus 1 o yung eto 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 yan lang yung kukunin mo yung derivative hindi kasama yung radical kasi nat derive na natin siya eh, based on the on this oh dinerive na natin siya based on the power formula so no need to Re, uh, recompute. So, direct, parang guys, direct substitution na to. Okay na sa akin ng direct substitution because you already know the derivation. It came, it came from the power formula wherein we equate square root of u is equal to u raised to 1. Okay? Oh, huwag ka lang malito dun, Mikaela. Yung, okay, yung u, walang radical dun. Okay? Walang radical dun sa ano natin. Okay? So, that is uh, I hope that you could uh, practice. Now, we will have time for this. Kaya lang week, week number 5. So, probably ang schedule ko dyan yung practical application sa tayo. No? My, my strategy for next week would be different. I will not anymore presenting formula but we will be solving problems directly. And then we apply concepts of derivative on those particular problem. No? Normally, maxima minima, time rates, and other applications of derivative. And then afterwards, uh, integral na tayo. Ang purpose talaga nito, parang ano lang siya, crash course lang ng derivative. Anyway, this is included in your calculus 1. No? Uh, uh, Dale, you already ano, no? done with calculus 1, no? And then si Mikaela, you will still need to take calculus 1. So parang yan para makuha natin both sides, no? At least you, you have an idea what's the differential calculus. And then for Dale, it's a recall of uh, calculus 1. Okay? Oh, here, the next formula uh, would be u over a constant. Okay? This is very simple u over a constant, derivative of u over a constant is equal to 1 over constant. No? We just need to uh, pull out the, the constant outside and then get the derivative of whatever the u. 
is. Okay? So, yung kung one-third dito, ah, teka, ano, lumiit. Kung one-third, labas natin yung one-third. Right, uh, right away. So, based on the formula that we have. And then, we get the derivative of whatever. In fact, we could do this. Oy, hindi kabilang yung equal sign. Okay, so we could just uh, tell me the right answer. What's derivative of 3x squared? Uh, 6x. 6x, okay. O nga, wala na palang exponent. 6x. Okay, 6x. What's the next term? Plus 1. Plus 1. Okay. Sa akin, okay na to. No? Kaysa i-distribute mo yung i-distribute mo yung one third na magkakaroon ka ng fractional component, uh, mas okay na tong presentation na ganyan. Na this uh, presentation. Okay, so we could uh, briefly solve this. Turong ko lang yung mga window. Okay, so dip. Okay. Siguro double pa, uh, parenthesis dip, 3x squared plus, one, uh, plus x minus 1 over 3 then close parenthesis. Uy. Ano kaya yun? Ah, okay, okay. Wala akong multiplication. Talagang matalino talaga to si, ano, si Octave. Yan. Oh, in the part of Octave, uh, Octave distribute one-third. Can you notice? Do you notice? So, 2x plus one-third ang sagot niya. Okay. May command dyan eh. Pretty answer. Tingnan natin kung mapapaganda yung sagot. Ah, ganun talaga. Wala, hindi niya na na... Ano, ano. Or simplify kaya. Simplify. O oh, yun na yung simplified. Ah, yun talaga. Okay, anyway. But for me, you, you don't need to distribute ah... Uh, you don't need to distribute the one-third no, to the binomial. No, you don't need to do that. Okay? So, okay na sa akin yun, yung ganong klase ng uh, uh, expression. One-third times the quantity. Okay? So, okay? So far, okay naman siya, no? So, sige nga, can you solve for uh, this one? Sir, may tanong lang po ako. Yes, yes. Uh, hindi ko po kasi sa alala kung may nabanggit po kayo before regarding po dun sa uh, octave. Kung may list po ba ng mga command, sir, para hindi po kami sana magkamali. Ah, ganito. Actually, mayroon akong isiset na session for just for octave. Kaya huwag kayong mag-alala kung hindi, hindi pa kompleto yung list. Perhaps du during midterm. Uh, pero magpapalabas ako, definitely. Ah, thank you for reminding me. I'll be go to sending out uh, a link or uh, a file composed of different uh, commands for calculus. Sige, thank you, ano, uh, Dale, for reminding me. Perhaps during our week number 5. Na para mapapagpraktisan nyo pa yon. you have a week and then uh, another week kasi ano tayo, due to the missions conference. No? So, so, pwede pa, may time pa. You have two weeks time in uh, practicing Octave. Okay, thank you Dale for reminding. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Kasi I'm, I'm looking for a book talaga, booklet man lang na nandun yung command. So, siguro yun ang, kasi meron ako for linear, linear algebra. Meron din sa abstract. Sa geometry, ped, uh, kasi geometry general eh. No? Uh, problem solving meron na rin. 
Ano pa ba yung isa kong mat? Uh, na nga ba? Nakalimutan ko yung mga courses ko. Teka, good thing that uh, you have mentioned that. Uh, para malaman ko yung ano. Okay. So, ito yung mga courses natin. Plain solid, linear, abstract. Yung calculus na lang palang kulang ko eh. Yung booklet for calculus, part, uh, particularly for uh, uh, using Octave. Sige, sige, Adil. On our PIP week, I'll be releasing, or before, or before our PIP, PIP week session, I will be releasing uh, a reference for you to practice. Now, primary, it's a MATLAB a reference, but it's used in Octave also. Kasi ang Octave, siya yung pre-version ni MATLAB eh. Okay, so that's the... Thank you, Dale, for reminding me. Now, nawala sa isip ko yung ano, listing ng command. But don't worry on the commands yet. Kasi consistent naman siya. No? Uh, whatever you use in MATLAB, it could be applied to uh, Octave. No? Okay? Other, other questions? Clarification? By the way, the Octave part will be just a, a small portion of the, of the prelim exam. Don't worry. Now, it's, it will be part of the practical, uh, actually, yung hindi, hindi naman, papaliwanag ko sa PIP, PIP week, paano mangyayari yung practical test. Uh, pwede kasi siyang simulated na eh. Uh, o sige, paliwanag ko na rin. Uh, actually, pinaplano ko pala to. Simulated na siya, magtatanong ako ano yung command na dapat doon. Kaya papakita ko na sa inyo, sa inyo yung input-output. Siguro, tatapalan ko lang yung command. What is the appropriate command for this one? O, yun. Mamimili na kayo. Multiple choice pa rin yun. Na parang ganun. So, it's not an actual practical test. Kala nyo, iniisip mo practical test na o orasan ko kayo. Hindi ganun yung concept ng practical exam na iniisip ko. May, may simulation na ng MATLAB. I-screenshot ko lang dun sa mismong form ng Google form. Pwede naman kasi mag-attach ng ano doon, ng, ng picture. And then, ayan, based on that, that a series of commands, may tanong ako doon. That could be answerable in multiple choice. Okay? Do I make sense? Hindi, hindi siya yung parang lab, may lab kayo na oorasan ko kayo. Uh, I think we cannot do it now uh, because of our, uh, yun nga, dahil tayo in online pa rin, at kailangan, pag may lab, dapat uh, may kanya-kanya kayong PC na supervise ko rin. Dapat, yun ang ideal niya. Pero dahil hindi, wala tayong ganun, uh, yun, nag-iisip ako ng paraan no, to simulate. So, yung screen ng Octave, ipipaste ko na doon sa exam. Ayan, binigyan ko na kayo ng idea kung ano yung magiging practical side nung ano natin, ng prelim exam. Okay, noted ba yun? Okay, sir. Noted po. Okay. okay. So, don't worry on the commands na magkakamali kayo ng... No, hindi ganun yung practical test na naiisip nyo. Maaari. No, I am just guessing. No, kasi nga, that's ideal for an actual laboratory. Ideal yon. Pero dahil online tayo, at siguro, perhaps, we could do that in, a, in, in finals pa. Pag kumpleto na halos yung mga commands na, na pwede nyo gawin. No, kasi ngayon, hindi pa eh. So, inuunti-unti natin yung mga commands na yan. Okay? So, the next one, baliktad naman to guys. Ito, baliktad. Kanina, k over, u over k, constant nasa baba. Ngayon, constant nasa taas, over u. So, anong ano niya? So, para siyang gumamit ngayon ng, uh, actually, it, it derives from the division formula. Remember the quotient formula? Guys, uh, let me scroll up. Ah. Nandito pa yung, eto, eto yung division formula natin. Okay? Now, if u is constant, kasi parang lumalabas dyan, u is constant eh. Kung titignan natin dito, dito, yung, k, yung numerator mo, constant. 
Okay? Constant siya. So, kung i-apply natin yung dito, uh, iba lang yung variable guys, ha? baka malito kayo. Kung, kung u to, u is a constant here. So, what would happen to our value here? So, b, derivative of a constant, is zero na agad to. Zero. Para may kulang yung formula ko dun. Nadali lang guys. Ha? O oh, kasi u, para siyang magiging ano dito eh, k over u eh. k over u. So ito na ngayon yung magiging uh, constant. Yung u. Sige nga, ano ko na lang. Baka malito tayo sa variable. Sige, sige. I will just ano, uh, solve na lang natin itong diretso. Well, but this is in reference guys to ano, uh, quotient formula. Okay? Quotient formula siya. So, if that would be the case, tanggal si, uh, tanggal si, dapat parang may negative dito eh. I-derive ko guys ha, dali lang. Ika-copy-paste ko lang tong quotient formula to make it sure. Apply natin dun sa ano. Okay, dito, dito. Okay, kumpara nyo siya. Oh, siguro gawin ko na lang b to para wag tayo malito. Para to avoid confusion. No? Anyway, it could be any variable guys. It could be any variable. B, then this, this is b squared. Okay, okay na. Nakita nyo yung resemblance. Your u is a constant here. Your u is a constant. Oh, if u is a constant, how will you apply it here now? So, yung b, du, so that becomes derivative of uh, a constant that is zero. Automatic. So, papagawin ko lang to. So, parang mangyayari niyan, ito constant. DK to. K. And then, K. Ganyan mangyayari, guys. Tama? Tama? Yung yung mo constant eh. So, automatic, zero to. Zero yung, yung B derivative of constant is zero. So, kung zero siya, ang implication magiging negative. Tama nga, mali yung formula natin. Okay, so that becomes, uh, So, I'm just preparing. So, B squared pa rin yung denominator. No problem about that. Ito. Ito na lang may iwan. Whatever is the value of your B, will just get the derivative. So, dapat pala may minus to. I, I think I have a mistake here. You put the minus there. Okay. Uh, example tayo, guys. Sige, simulate ko lang to sa ano, no? So, kung i-apply natin... I-apply natin to sa, ano. Okay. So, dip. Five divided by x cubed. 
plus 4 times x. Ayan. Pansin nyo guys, oh, yung common, common nyo may negative. Ilalabas natin yan. So, ilalabas yan. Dapat. And then, yung squared. Of course, yung b squared mo, ito. Can you see from here, the highlight, b squared. This is b squared. Now, this is negative of the constant. Yes, yes. Ah, yes, they have some question. Hindi lang po malinaw po yung sa octave. Hindi malinaw? Tiga, palakihin natin. Sorry, sorry. Ayan, okay na ba yung font niya? Ayan. Is it larger? Okay na? Okay, so, o nga, hindi ko na-increase yung... Pansin niyo both are negative. Pinasok ni Octave sa negative. Pero eh, pag ilinabas mo yan, negative siya. Okay? So, yun yung uh, may kita natin dyan na... Ay, teka. Hindi pala ako naka-web, kaya ang, ang liit. Sorry, hindi ko na-switch na yung aking ano. Teka, teka. Kaya pala hindi makita ni ano. Okay, here is large, larger view ba? Nai, mas nakikita nyo? Yes, ma. Mas laki ang kopa, ha? Ayan. Okay na, no? So, the negative here, guys, negative 5 yan, eh. Actually, pagbabalikan natin yung formula, ay yung problem, Ayan, so magiging, if we will apply the formula here. Okay, so that is. Okay, so this B squared, no? Essential na guys, may mga, may network issue ako, ah. Sometimes I'm lagging. So this would become, ah, uh, whatever is the denominator, X cubed, plus 4X, this is quantity squared. This becomes now negative 5. Whatever the derivative. So this, this would become 3x squared. Three x squared plus four, right? Okay, so that's the answer. As also uh, comparable to our octave simulation. Ayan. So, yun nga lang, pinasok niya sa loob yung uh, negative. Okay? So, yun, that's the only difference of the two. Okay? Do you have clarification? So, we will be following here, guys, this one. May negative siya sa, ano, no? hindi ko lang naisingi. This one. Negative k db over dx over b squared. Just like the quotient formula, wherein the numerator is the constant. So, dito yun. So, ito magiging zero to. Uh, Sir, wala po ba yung V? Doon po sa V tapos derivative of constant. Kaya zero lang po talaga siya. 
Ade, ah, uh, this came from from the quotient formula. Quotient formula ito. May value yan. May, actually, function of x to eh. Pansinin mo, mag-partner sila. BDU, UDB. Kaya lang, constant yung, yung DU. Constant siya. Kaya, mag, magiging zero to eh. Itong expression na yan. Teka. Dali. Hindi ko may insert yung ano. Ito, magiging ano to. Magsisiro to eh. Kasi derivative constant is zero eh. Kaya siya naging negative k. Na, nagets mo ba? B is a function of x. Kaya dito, kinuha pa natin yung derivative ng b eh. In terms of uh, this one. Yan, yung 3x squared plus 4. Kinuha pa natin yung derivative. Ayun o, pansin mo yung parallel niya. Yung negative k, that's ne negative 5. db, derivative of b, ito na yun, 3x squared plus 4 na. Ang b mo, x cubed plus 4x. Then quantity squared. Okay? Questions? Do you have clarification? Uh, Mikaela, do you have question? Wala naman po. Narito lang po ako dun sa yung dahil na po zero. So yung V parang wala na, tinanggal na rin siya dun sa mismo formula. So, oh, yes. Kasi V times zero is zero. Minus K. Kaya nagkaroon ng negative K. Pero may value yung B. May value yung B. Dahil lang sa derivative of K na zero. Kaya siya nawala. Bye po. Okay, Thank not, you noted. Okay, sige, sige. Let's move. This time, exponential function. By the way, I'll, immediately I'll be sending to. Nakalimutan ko lang notes nung nakaraan. Eh, para yung mga discussion question natin. So, another function, aside from the algebraic function, is the exponential function in the form AU. A raised to U. Okay? So, that's the exponential function. AU. So, ang example niyan, ito, we have a formula here, guys. AU ln A. This is the natural logarithm. You know the natural logarithm, guys, no? When you say ln, the base of the log is E, or the natural number. I don't know if, I, if you may still recall the relation of the two. No, of course, it had been taught in your previous math. No, but when you say... Uh, say log of x to the base of e ayan oh log of x to the base of e that is your ln or ln sometimes you just pronounce it as ln but my math professor pronounce it as ln magiging ganyan na lang siya Okay? So, it must be on base E. Okay? Kasi, pag walang, pag walang base, guys, automatic, ano yun? Kung wala tong E na to. Halimbawa, log of X lang. Ah, Dale, anong base niya? One, set? Ten. Pag ang, walang, wala kang makitang base dyan, ten, automatic yun. Kunyari, log of 10 lang. Bawa, log. Bawa, log. Wala to. Wala yung expression na yan. So, automatic yan. Log, base 10 siya. So, it should be base 10. Your log of x is equal to As if it has base 10 there. Siyempre, hindi siya ln. Okay? So, automatic yung guys. Pag walang base indicated, that is common logarithm. We call it common logarithm. 
I don't know if you still recall that term, common logarithm. Common log siya. Kapag ang base niya E, anong tawag? Kung common si base 10, ano si E? Guys. Any guess? We call it what? Kung common. Uncommon. Uncommon. <laughs> well, syempre, oh, pero an anti-logarithm pa. Hindi pa, wala pa tayo doon eh. Natural log lang 'yan. Kasi ang base niya natural number. Remember, ah, base E is a natural number. Kaya natural logarithm siya. Okay, yan ha. Oh, sige. So let's ito 'yan. Kaya guys, pag ang base mo ay ay E, automatic magka-cancel yung ln E. What is ln E? To. Yan yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa kaya mas simple yung kay ln. Ano ba? E e raised to u to. Pag e raised to u siya, automatic yon dito. This will becomes e raised to u. By the way guys, this formula is proven using using ano ah uh, delta process. Pero hindi na natin papakita yan. Yung tedious process of delta. Okay? Ito 'yon, magiging ln of e ka. E ano yung ln of e, guys? Ano yung ln of e? Ano tong ln of e na to? Anong ibig anong ano niyan? Ah, what's ln of e? Ha? Huh? Ibig water. Oh, what's your answer, Mikaela? Okay, ln of e there is equal to Ito yung 1. Yes. Zero one. One, sir. Correct. That's equal to one. Nahuli lang yung number ko dito. So that's equal to one. No? Yung loan of E na yan. Kaya, kapag... Ano nangyari sa options ko? Teka. Dahil lang guys, ha? iaano ko lang to. Ayan, so 1 na lang siya. Okay, kaya yung derivative derivative ng EU is EU DU na lang. Ayan, no? Can you see from here? Kasi special special base yan, guys, eh. Yung E. No? Unlike yung A, which is any any number, constant, for that matter, gadaan pa siya dun sa loan of A. Okay? So, take note of the formula. Derivative of AU is equal to AU ln of A DU. Okay, I will I will apply it here. Oh. So, automatic yan. Derivative of AU is equal to automatic yan AU. Guys, i-rewrite na natin yan. And then, ln of Insert ko nga dito. Okay, ln of what? Dale, what's the ln? 3. 3, correct. Yan. D, derivative of x equal to 1. So, therefore, the answer is 3x ln of x. Ganyan lang. Yan nga, simulate natin to sa ano. Tingnan natin how how MATLAB would uh, refer to this. Ayan. Ang log sa kanya guys, by the way, is ln. Ang logarithm sa kanya, log 10. Pag log 10 ang ginamit mo, ibig sabihin base 10 yun. Pag log lang, it's a natural number. Ayan. Kaya 3x, 
3x ln 3 yan. Okay, pero kay MATLAB, ayaw niyang gamitin yung ln eh. Gusto niya logarithm pa rin. Okay? That makes sense? Okay. Sige nga, can you solve this uh, exercise 6? Example 6. Sir, question lang po. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Saan po nang galing yung x o sa final answer? Kaya pa 3x. No. Ito kasi yung u mo eh. X. A u, di ba? A u. U u is equal to x. Derivative of A u is A raised to u is equal to A raised to u ln u. Ang u mo, yung x. Nag-iisa lang siya. Then, du over dx, derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So, we don't need to write that. Doon ang galing yon sa u. Yung u mo dito. Okay? Uh, sige, kind, uh, please solve uh, exercise example 6. So, ang u mo dito sa example 6, etong buong to. x squared plus 5. That's your u. Sige. Uh, kindly solve uh, this uh, ex example 6. So, automatic yan. Kaka-copy-paste mo agad yung AU dyan. Di ba? Ito yung AU mo eh. But of course, I'll be showing an alternative solution here. Later. Oh, loan of U. Actually, madali nga siya kung totoo siya, no? Mas madali siya dun sa exponential, eh. No? What do you think? Okay, ln of this one, x squared. x squared, oops. Meron na exponent dun, ah. x squared plus 5. Derivative of x squared plus 5. What's derivative of x squared? What's derivative of x squared? Uh, 2x. 2x, yes. 2x. 2x po, sir. Yes, yes. So, yan na yung sagot. So, ilalagay na lang natin sa kabila to. We'll have some rearrangements. Magulo lang tong, ano, uh, parang uh, yung exponential form, function, rather. Ayan, so... Sir, hindi po ba ln of 5? Ln of? Hindi po siya ln of 5. Kasi po di ba, ln a yung nasa... Ay, o nga no. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Eto pala, 3 din. Sorry, sorry. My mistake. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. Actually, ayan, mali, mali ako ng substitution din dun ah. <laughs> Ito pala log of 3 din eh, no? Thank you, thank you for that. May, minsan nakakalito rin to eh, no? Yes, thank you, thank you for noticing that. It's loan of 5, sorry. It's a mistake on my part. Loan lo, of 5 to. Loan of 5. Yan. Minsan, loan of 5. So, eto, ilalagay na natin sa, sa ano to. So, 2x. Thank you for noticing that, ano. So, hindi siya u yung linolon, yung a. Ayan. Actually, pwede pa to eh. Pwede pa siyang ma-extract. Actually, meron tayong gagawing mathematical ano dyan. Kasi nga, pag kinuha mo to, yung product rule ng exponent, Papansin nyo, x raised to a plus b. 
kung papansin niyo yung uh, yung uh, recall tayo nung ano nung exponential rule natin x raised to a plus b anong sagot dyan guys This is x raised to a times times loss of exponent. Times x raised to b. Yes. Ayan. So, pwede natin siyang gawin dito. Ayan. Pwede natin siyang gawin. Kasi may constant na lalabas dyan eh. So, yung constant, pwede pa natin extract no, for this case. So, i-apply natin siya dun sa 5. Okay. So, this becomes 5x squared. So, tatanggalin na natin to. So, lalabas dyan times 5 raised to 5. Tama ba? Kasi tinanggal mo yung ano eh. In-apply mo to. Yes. Tama ba? 5 raised to 5. Mahaba pala to. Ayan, what's 5 raised to 5? Sir, i-octave nyo na para mabilis. What's 5 raised to 5? Haba-haba, 315. 3125, no? 1527. Yes, 3125. Times 2. Times 2, 6250. 6250 po. Yan, okay, x to 50. Ayan. So, 5x squared, loan 5. Actually, yung loan 5, pwede pa yan. Kaya lang, wala na tayong ano doon. So, pwede na siya. Five x squared. May squared pa ulit. Yan ang exponent within an exponent. Loan of 5. Ayan. Ay, ito pa pala sa exponent yun. Teka. Yun. Okay. So, may mahaba-habang ano to, no? Solution, no? Tignan natin yung appreciation ni, ano, dito. Ni Octave. For verification sake. So, 5 raised to... So, lalagyan ko ng kama para hindi siya makompuse. Ayan. Plus 5. Ah. Yun. Ah, hindi niya inano, no? Hindi niya hinati guys. Pinanatili niya yung octave maintain the 5 raised to x squared plus 5. Hindi niya trinomcate yun. Can you, did you notice? So, pero sa atin, pwede natin siyang isimplify. Well, whichever, siguro whichever is the answer. Yung log dito, loan pa rin yun. Loan. Yung log doon. Okay? So, at least uh, alam natin yung yung stand nung ano ng software natin. Okay? 
Okay, so far, clarification. So, it could be this one or uh, the, ito, yung kanina. Ito na yung sagot ni MATLAB eh, ni Octave. So, either the two would be uh, an answer. Now, for, for this one, for the natural or for the exponent, natural exponent, this is very simple, guys. So, we could just, uh, kasi E na siya eh. So, makakancel yung ln of E is equal to 1. So, anong sagot natin? Can you give me a direct answer here? E, e raised to 3x dx. D over dx. What is uh, u? Mikaela, what's u? 3x. Uh, du. What's du? What's our du? It's 3. Okay, correct. So that's equivalent to 3. E raised to 'yan e raised to 3x. Okay? Mas mabili siya kasi nga natural ano to eh. Natural siya, no? It's a natural uh, exponent. Okay? Clarification? Guys? Kaya pa ba? Medyo dumadami na yung formula natin. Sir, tanong lang po. Clarification lang, sir. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Sir, nabanggit niyo na po kanina pero na, hindi ko po kasi naisulat. Ano pong big difference ng log dun sa lon, sir? Okay. Uh, sige, let's recall. Yung, yung log, base 10 siya. Basic, pag walang nakalagay na base, automatic yung base 10. Kasi pwede siya maging any number eh. Base 2, base 3, base 4. So that's what we call common logarithm. Common log siya. Kapag ang base ng log ay e, that becomes ln. So, it's natural logarithm na siya. So, na, ang basic na pagkakaiba niya, yung base niya. Kung base ng logarithm. Okay? Dale? Okay, sir. Okay, kalimutan. Sorry po. Uh, sige, no problem, no problem. At least, uh, we are recalling things here. Now, uh, let's proceed now with the logarithmic. Okay, so sa logarithm naman, actually may derivation to, kaya lang hindi na natin siya, isu shortcut ko na muna to guys, no? Mas pansinin natin yung loan of u. Ito kasi yung mas nagagamit eh. Pero ang nakaderive, tong formula ng loan of u, dito sa ano, general formula. Log of u to the base of a, derivative of log of u to the base a is equal to log of e to the base a du over dx over u. Okay? So, yan yung uh, ano natin. Now, it could be applied pag, wala, pag walang 10 dito or meron man, ganun, yun din yung ilalagay dito. Kung ano, whatever is your base, you will put it there. Okay? So, let's look at the example first. Example muna tayo. Hindi ko na nalagyan ng example dito. Sakto, aabot tayo ng trigonometric function man lang. Okay. Say, if you would like to solve for the derivative of log, wala na yung base A. Uh, tanggalin na natin yun. Log of automatic to 10. Pag wala siyang log. So, pag tinanggal natin yung uh, ano bawa? Log of ano lang? Log of Log of x squared. Ayan. So, if we will apply the formula here, no, log of u to the base 10, log of e, magiging log of e siya guys. Kahit ano pang 
mangyari dun sa U mo, value ng I mo, magiging log of E siya. Log of E. Uy, lumalak kayo. Log of E. Minsan yung aking ano. Log of E. Okay, du. What's the derivative of uh, of x squared? Dale. Two. Ah, two. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Two, two or two x. Two x, di ba? Two x. Huwag ka kalimutan si x. Nyan. So yeah, no log of e times two x. Pasin yung log of e. Kasi naka-base 10 na ako eh. Kahit di ko na ilagay yung 10 doon, automatic yun. It means uh, base 10, no? Dito, pag tinignan mo dyan. So, automatic yan, base 10 yan. So, log of E times 2X all over, what's U? Ano yung U natin? Guys? That's over U, no? U is X squared. That's your x squared here. Ayan. That's already an answer. Ah, it's simplifiable pa. Oh, what? Give me the simplified answer. Guys, for this. What's the simplified answer? Okay, cancel yung x. Tama. Ito, pwede natin ilagay doon. 2 log of e. So, tanggal si x. At matitira sa denominator si x. Tama ba? Yes po, yes po. Okay, so, tingnan natin sa MATLAB for verification purpose only. Deep of log 10. The command is log 10. Para maging base 10 siya sa MATLAB. No? Log 10 of... Ay, teka. Ba't napunta dun? Okay. Of x squared. Tumatalon yung aking ano. No? Yan. Let's see what uh, what would happen here. Oh, hirap na hirap si ano ah. Yan. Okay. Ay, teka. Daglit lang guys ha. Ah. I have a call. Hello. Good afternoon po. Mm. Oh, professional. Professional. Mm. Mm. Tignan ko muna yung docs. Pwede nyo padala sa email ko. Tapos, presyoan natin. Uh, ed at bece.log Ed. Echo Delta. Delta. At bece.log Blog. Oh, B-L-O-G. Oh. Oh, sige, ha? Tapos, then reply na lang ako. Okay, okay. Sige. Okay, I'm back. Yung mga clients call, client call. No? Teka, parang baliktad yung sagot natin. No? What do you think, guys?
Are you still there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Sige, sige. Parang yung log niya nandun sa baba, no? Hindi ko alam bakit, bakit nandun. Inalala niya yung tensor. Hmm. Ah, ano niya yan? Um, teka. Uh, that's a good question. Actually, log of... Kasi, itong log na to kasi, kinonvert niya sa loan eh. Ang log ng ma MATLAB or Octave is LN. So, perhaps, kaya may discrepancy ng ganito, kinonvert niya sa LON. Nakakonvert sa LON. LN of 10. No? L of, LN of 10. Uh, pareho. I'm not so sure kung pareho siya ng log of E. Kasi pag yung log of E, no? Ano ba yung log of E natin? Computing nga natin yun. Komplikado kasi computing yun dito sa MATLAB. Eh. Yung, yung E guys, ang command niya, EXP over raised to 1. Ayan o. Oh. Ito yung E, right? Tama guys, 2.71. Yan yung natural number eh. Pag kinuha mo yung log, yung log nyan, log 10 ang command no log 10 of log 10 of exp 1 yan yung yan yung ano natin sa command lang to guys ha wag kayong malito ang kinukuha ko lang dito log of e that's the log of e so makita yung value eh. so it's 0.4343 okay okay ba guys na nakuha nyo. And then, kukunin ko yung loan of 10. Kasi kukunin pa natin yung reciprocal nyan eh. Para mapag-equate natin sila. Ito, loan of 10 to eh. So, kung loan, log of 10, then we get the reciprocal 1 divided by log of 10. Hindi ko sure bakit hindi niya sinolve yun. Oh, what do you think? Tama guys, di ba? Pareho. Whether that be in the log of E in the numerator, here, 2 log of E over X, or dito sa ating uh, MATCAD, as a MATLAB octave natin, ang sagot niya, 2 over X ln of 10. Ln to, ah, hindi to log dito. LN to, LN 10. It's the same. Nung kinumpara natin, 0.4343, okay? But I prefer our solution, no? rather than na uh, uh, utilizing uh, the solution of MATLAB. Okay? So, so, sir, tama po yung sagot po na bigay po. Parehong tama. Magkaiba lang yung display niya. Ito kasi, LON. LON to. Imagine yung LON. This is LN. Nung kinuha natin yung reciprocal, 0.4343. Yung kanina, yung log of E, yung numerator natin, ganun din ang lumabas. 0.4343, meaning pareho sila. So, yung log of E dito, kung, yeah, papakita ko dito sa ating, ano. So, eto, equal din dun sa ano, kung equate natin dun sa ginawa ni Octave, ano siya, 2, So, 2 na lang to dito. Ito, loan. Loan of 10. Gaya na mangyayari dyan. X loan of 10. Yung display kanina ni, ano, ni uh, Octave. Ayan o. Oh. Ayan o. Oh. 2 over X loan of 10. Okay? Loan yan ha. Huwag, yan, huwag nyong isipin logarithm yan or common. Okay? So, pareho lang sila guys. So, no problem. Whether we answer 2 log of e to over x or 2 over x times loan of 10. It's the same. 
Same siya guys. And we have proven it using MATLAB. It's equal to 0.4343. Okay, you have question? Okay. Mas madali siya guys kapag kinuha mo yung derivative ng ln of u. Kasi nagkakakomplikado kapag log ang ginagamit natin. Log base 10 eh. No? Or any, any value for the log. Whether that be 2, 3, 4, 5, no? Except for the natural number. No? Pero pag titingnan natin ito, itong mas madali. Guys. So, if we'll have example 9 here. Example 9. Okay? So, say derivative of ln. Loan of uh, say loan of three x squared. Yeah, tignan natin. Oh, direct substitution lang yung guys. Okay, one over yun na agad. Then get the derivative of three x squared. What's the derivative of three x squared? Dale, what's the derivative of 3x squared? Yan yung du over dx mo? Mikaela, derivative of 6 or 3x squared? 2x po. Ay, 6x. 6x. Yeah, 6x yan. And then, over u agad. This is 3x squared. Actually, mawawala yung logarithm dito, guys. Yung logarithmic function. Kapag law ng gamit mo. Magiging algebraic siya. Ayan. Simplify. Simplify, guys. Simplify. 2 over... 2 over x. X. Okay. 2 over x. So, tingnan natin kung ano to. Okay, so cancel x, no? So, and 6 and 3. Okay, so let's look at the simulation. Diff of log of 3. 3 times x raised to 2. Tingnan natin. And another parenthesis. Ayan. Kitang kita guys. Can you see clearly? 2 over x. Yes po. Okay, good. Okay. So, madali siya pag loan lang guys. Madali no? Pag loan kasi pag dinirivative mo yung loan, o yung ln, matatanggal yung logarithmic function kasi magka-cancel. Magiging log of e. Log of, uh, ln of e or log of e is equal to uh, 1. Yung katulad dito, yun, yun o. Oh, yung log of e niya, yung magiging log of e to the base e, 1 na lang yun. Tandaan natin yung guys. Yung, kung naalala niyo yung ano, uh, log, sa logarithm, uh, natin meron tayong maalala dyan na, na formula pakita ko lang sa inyo bakit naging 1 yun ito log of x or a to the base b kung gusto mong tanggalin yan yung base ano siya magiging ano siya log of log of ano guys log of a, naging loga siya. Ayan, ano yun natin? Log of A over log of B. Tama? Still recall this formula? Just another property. Naging base 10 na siya. Naging base 10 na siya, guys. 
Ang nangyari doon sa ano natin, problem, yung ln ano ba, ln of x or ln of a ln of a mo, oops. Ayan. ln of a is equal to log Yan. Paano mo i-convert sa log yan? Log of a to the base e. Guys. So, in effect, kung i-relate natin dito sa unang example, log of log of a over log of e. Tama ba? Log of e. Okay. Yes, po. Ngayon ang formula kasi, kung titignan natin, babalikan natin, log of E. So, ibig sabihin, A is equal to E. At, kaya talaga magka-cancel siya eh. Kaya mapapadali yung loan eh. At, A is equal to E, what would happen? That becomes equal to 1. So, magka-cancel siya guys dito sa formula. Ito, magka-cancel siya dito. Kaya ang matitira dyan, du over dx na lang. Ah, du, du dx over u. Kaya reciprocal of u times du over dx ang natira. Okay? So, nasimplify, nasimplify siya. Kung baga natanggal yung logarithmic function, naging algebraic na lang pag kinuha mo yung derivative. So, yan yung tatandaan natin na ano nito. Okay? Do I make sense before we proceed with trigo? We still have few minutes. So, yan yung, ano yan guys eh. Anything, loan of, kung ano man yung function, kukunin lang natin yung uh, derivative sa numerator, then, then ikokopya natin yung function sa denominator. Okay, get the derivative on the numerator, and then copy the function in the uh, denominator. Just like this one. Okay? So, pwedeng ang magkakatalo lang guys dito sa U eh. Kung ano tong U. So, yan. Pwedeng magkaroon ng cancellation dyan. Okay? Question? Question guys? Yes, po. Okay. Si Mix po sir may, may gusto pong i-request. Yes, yes. Request. Sir, wala po. Sige, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure ka. Kasi nga, ang purpose talaga natin dito, fast track ang dip, derivative, ang dip cal natin. Okay, fast track siya. Kung totoo siya, pwede ako magsimula ng integration agad. No, yun yung differential calculus. Ah, uh, integral calculus. Pero because of, uh, ano, yun nga, minsan kailangan natin i-recall din yung dip cal. Eh. Kahit si Dale, di ba? May mga nakalimutan ka Dale na formula. Tama ba Dale? So, po, sir. O, so, kailangan natin mag-pass track. Kahit man lang for 6 weeks, pa-pass track tayo. And then, saka tayo mag-integration proper by midterm. Kaya medyo mabilis to guys. no? Uh, hindi siya talaga yung regular class, tediously. In fact, yung, alam nyo ba yung yung delta process? Isang, isang prelim yan. Buong prelim, delta process lang guys. Tapos, ang midterm, yun yun, dun yun ituturo yung mga formula. Siguro mga 6 to 10 weeks yun. 6 to 8 weeks. And then, afterwards, puro application na. So, ganun yung sistema. Pero sa atin, so, tuturo ko lang sa inyo na 6 weeks yung buong cal differential calculus. Fast track siya. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, trigo tayo, guys. Okay, may tatandaan lang tayo mga identities dito guys. You need to recall your identities. Uh, una sa lahat yung, yung tangent formula. 
So, huwag natin kakalimutan si tangent formula in terms of sine and cosine. Now, in simplifying your function, it should be in terms of sine and cosine. That's more simple. Yun yung tatandaan natin. For, okay, sine. Kung tutuusin guys, tatlong function lang yung tatandaan nyo dyan. Or kung dalawa lang, dalawa lang. Pwedeng dalawa lang, sine and cosine lang. Kasi, you could always express sine and cosine in terms of the other function. Yan yung may, may share ko sa inyo sa, when you're already uh, taking the board. No? In trigo, if there are only two functions that you should not forget, that is sine cosine, guys. And then you could derive everything from sine cosine. Okay, make sense on that? Yes, bro. Okay. Kung may makakalimutan, anim na function siya. Eh. Kung may makakalimutan kang apat, huwag mong kakalimutan yung sine cosine. Kasi everything is derivable on sine cosine. Okay? Halimbawa, tangent. O what is tangent? O, alam ko naman na alam nyo yung tangent. Tangent is... Opposite over adjacent. O, oh, but in terms of trigo function. Oh, that's correct, actually. It's what? Sine over cosine. Yeah, sine, sine over cosine. So, na-express na natin in terms of ano, no? Ano ko na lang to. Ayan. Nahirapan na akong i-type yung function ng ano, ng trigo dito. Yan. How about cotangent? Cotangent, guys. Okay, since this is a reciprocal of tangent, no? so automatic yan, guys. No? Reciprocal siya ng tangent. Eh. So, 1 over tangent siya. So, automatic yan. It follows that this is equal to cosine over sine. Kasi nga, opposite siya. Okay. Cosine. Uy. Over sine. Okay. So, wag nyo. Makalimutan nyo na yung apat. Wag lang itong dalawang to guys. How about secant? How about secan? Uh, what secan? In terms of sine or cosine? 1 over cosine. 1 over? What's that? Is the reciprocal of what? Cosine. Cosine, correct. Yan, of course, yung... Yung cosecant, yan, opposite siya ng, siyempre, ng sine. Reciprocal, rather. This one over sine. So, that's the fundamental function, guys. These are fundamental functions expressed in terms of sine, cosine. So, dapat wag natin siyang kakalimutan. Sa board, uh, 15 to 20 percent are trigonometric problems. So, mahalin yung trigo. Kasi even calculus sa uh, ganun kadami yung mga, ano, mga questions sa board. Of course, we should know the Pythagorean identity. That's another factor in terms of sine, cosine. No? So, you could always uh, express the Pythagorean identity. Kailangan ko ng ano nito. Yan, yun. Lumasot. Okay, so the Pythagore identity, no?
From here, guys, we could derive other formulas. Such as, if we divide both sides of the equation by uh, cosine, cosine squared theta or cosine squared x, what would happen? So, if we will just divide this by over, over cosine squared x, so what would be the answer? Now, kung di-divide natin siya, okay, ilalagay ko dito. Assuming I would divide both sides of the equation by uh, 1 over cosine. Ayan. Okay, so what's the answer there? Cosine. Yun. Tapos yung squared. Walang, walang default na cosine squared, no? Kailangan ko pang exponential. Oh, ano mangyari, guys? Give me the equation. Give me the equation. Hmm. Oh, sine squared x over cosine x squared x is what? Obviously, that is it's what? It's tangent. Tangent yan. Okay? Cosine squared x over cosine squared x equal to 1. Right? Hmm. Oh, and then the which is equal to 1 over cosine squared x. What's that? That's secant. Secant squared x. Okay, yes. Ah, nag-automatic pala siya ano. Wala ko pa talaga pag-aralan to si equation editor eh. Okay. Okay. And if I would divide both sides by sine squared x, so give me the answer. Uh, same same trigonometric uh, equation, sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1 divided by cosine or by sine squared x. So what's, what would be the answer? One plus. Tama. One plus. One plus. Cotangent squared x. Okay. Equals cosecant squared x. Correct. Uy, ang tanggal. Ayaw yung ma-edit yun. Equal cosecant squared x. Okay, so recall this formula. You may forget the second and third equation, but don't forget this. Guys, yan ang magiging ano nyo eh. Okay, marami pang iba. Pero ito lang basically yung iikot-ikot lang kay dito sa fundamental functions. Dito makakabawa ka na ng reciprocal functions. Bawa tangent x times cosine x, sin x. Yan, makakabawa ka na ng mga iba't ibang mga formula dyan eh. Out of this. Oh, this one naman, reciprocal function. No, reciprocal. So, yung S, kapag may S, automatic yun, yung C yung ano. Yan na tinatandaan ko dyan eh. Reciprocal, no? So, hindi pwedeng reciprocal yung kapwa niya S. So, it must be S or C function, whichever. It could be second or cosecant, No? So, cosecant sine ang reciprocal, second ay cosine. So, yan. Okay? Actually, may mahaba-haba yung de derivation nito. Guys, mahaba-haba yung derivation ng hindi na natin siya saklaw. I will not cover that uh, anymore here. So, yung ating coverage ng uh, uh, derivation of 
of a trigonometric function based on delta process and other methods as well. Okay, so hindi na natin sasaklawin yan. Titignan na lang natin yung kanyang nature pag kinuha mo yung derivative niya. Okay, so that is example 10. Derivative of cosine nu is negative. Na, teka, nawala yung sign ko. Ito muna pala, sign muna, muna tayo. Derivative of sine nu is cosine nu du. So, mad mad madali lang yan, guys. So, example 10. Say, derivative of Ayan, 3x plus 1. Oh, pwede natin outright solution dyan guys eh. Automatic yan. Automatic. What's your cosine u? Derivative of sine u is cosine u. Automatic yan, cosine. Cosine of 3x plus 1. Then we get the derivative of u, which is 3x plus 1. So, ito, times, times 3 na lang. Okay? So, simplifying further. Simplifying, that would become 3 cosine 3x plus 1. Okay? Madali lang, guys, no? Hindi siya komplikado. Actually, mas komplikado ang try ko sa integral calculus. Eh. Hindi sa derivative. Sige. Uh, I-check natin yung ano natin. Ang kalaw yung mukha ko. Ah. Yun. Okay, dip sine of 3x plus 1. Uy, wala siyang sagot ha. Offline ba ako? Parang wala siyang binigay na sagot, ha? Ulit. Ah, offline nga yata ako. Okay. Ah, walang parenthesis. Okay, okay. Make sense. So, Oy. Diff. At kaya, Nakaano naman ako, simbolika. Hmm. Nakasimbolik ako. Baka siguro ganun. Diff. Ayan, 3x plus 1. Bibigay siya dapat ng ano. Yan, okay. Good. Offline lang pala. Nakala ko, inabahan ako eh. So, 3 cosine of 3x plus 1. Okay? Kita ba, guys? Yung sagot niya? Yes, po. Okay. So, yan. So, magkakatalo lang naman dito yung sa u, guys, eh. Yung u. Yung u nito, dyan lang magkakatalo, eh. Pwede kasi tayong maging komplikado based dun sa u. Halimbawa, ang u natin ay x to the fourth. Plus 3x squared. Okay. Minus 1. 
Uh, so what could be the answer here? Yeah, done. Hindi naman siya part ng dapat eh. Yan. Okay, the answer. Please give me the answer. What's the answer here? Cosine. So, cosine na siya. Cosine. Ay. Tama, tama. Cosine siya. Kopyain mo lang yun. Cosine, cosine of u. Oh. Then, derivative of u. Times. Ayan. Times. Cos what's derivative of u? 4x cube Plus 4x cubed? 6x. Okay. Okay, 4x cubed. What's the next term? Plus 6x. Plus 6x. Ayan. So, yeah, that's it. That's the answer. So, magiging komplikado lang siya based dun sa u. Yung sa u niya. Yeah, let's see how uh, MATLAB is a... Uh... Ayan, oh. Okay, tama yan. 4x cubed plus 6x times the quantity cosine x to the 4, 3x squared minus 1. Okay, pareho lang ng ating calculation. So, at least the uh, MATLAB appreciates the formula. Same as ours. Para may mga, may mga times na iba, no? Iba yung kanyang appreciation dun sa problem. Lalo na sa logarithm, medyo... Kakaiba yung kanyang appreciation doon. Okay? Next, same, same as true with this. The derivative of cosine u, that's negative of sine u. So, take note, ang pagkakaiba niya lang, ito. Pag kinukuha mo yung derivative ng may c, pansin nyo, pag may c, cosine u, negative. Derivative of cotangent, may negative din. At derivative ng cosecant, meron din siyang negative. So, tatandaan natin yun. Yan, madaling ano siya, memory, memory aid siya. Basta pag may co, co-function yung kinukuha yung derivative, may negative sa, sa unahan palagi. Okay? Tatandaan nyo yun. No, in this case, co cosine u, negative sine u. Uh, derivative cotangent u, negative cosecant squared u. And then yung derivative of cosecant u, negative co cosecant u, cotangent u. Okay? And the rest are positive, yung other pairs natin. Okay? Example 11. Actually, eh, dito, pwede nyo nang pagpraktisan yung book. Maraming ample examples yung book regarding functions of or trigonometric functions, particularly the derivative. No? You could consult the Coleman book regarding that i think chapter chapter 2 if i'm not mistaken okay oh i'm aware that uh ano no so din may class ka din no 230 we have your class yes po sir meron po okay okay so good i will stop on this but guys i want you to read on the coleman book regarding the differentiation of uh, trigonometric function. Supposedly, plus inverse. Pero, i-exempt ko muna kayo sa inverse. Kahit din nyo na muna 
ano yun to? Medyo mahirap unawain yung inverse function. Eh. No? Siguro babalikan ko yan in due time. No? If we have time, I will babalikan ko yung inverse. Bihira naman yung may tanong na inverse. Eh. Siguro ang mas focus yung hyperbolic function. Kasi yung hyperbolic, mas madali yung deri derivation ng hyperbolic functions rather than the inverse. Okay? Ayan. So, pwede nyo rin tingnan because Coleman is showing the, de the derivation, guys. You learn the derivation. ba? Diba? Pansin niyo yung iba niyang mga solution may delta process pa. ba? Diba? I, I think I have shown you in few, I think uh, last week or two weeks ago. No, the Coleman could derive it using delta process in other long process. So, you also study that and then try to practice uh, getting the derivative of the functions. Okay? So, that includes algebraic functions. That includes exponential functions. So, AU, saka yung EU. And that also includes logarithmic function. Log uh yeah log of uh the log and the ln no log of u or the ln u ln u so yun yung mga pag aaral and then of course this trigonometric function plus hyperbolic siguro hyperbolic skip mo, mo muna natin yung inverse so hindi siya masyadong ginagamit but uh, in due time if i have time i will also teach inverse trigonometric but uh, you may skip on that and look in or hyperbolic functions, derivative of hyperbolic. So that ends the concepts in uh, derivative. Then week number five natin guys is already application of derivative. So that will make sense on practical problems. Now for, uh, uh, for differentiation. No? Okay, do you have some thoughts before we close in a word of prayer? I will immediately send this to the classroom. This, uh, uh, yung ating, ano, no, discussion notes. Lahat to, para makita nyo rin. No, even though unedited siya, hindi ko na siya i-edit, no. It's for your verification na lang, no. Uh, sa book. I, ano, i-parallel nyo sa, dun sa Coleman book, or your, our textbook. Okay? Do, do, do you have some questions? or clarifications before we close in a word of prayer? Wala naman na po, sir. Thank you po. Okay. So, so by week number 5, what to expect? Ano na tayo? Applications na tayo. Okay? Application of de derivative and differentiation. Application also of limits. Yan. May application din ng limits eh. So, yan. And then, week 6, you're ready with your prelim. However, uh, because of the missions conference, it will be moved on the following week. Okay? As announced by the office. Sige. So, parang pre-time nyo pala yung, ano, no? Yung supposedly week number 6 natin. Uh, hindi muna tayo mag exam doon, but the following week. I think it was scheduled uh, February. Ano nga ba, Mikaela, yung date na yun? For our prelim exam? 23 to 27. 23 to 27. Okay, so, yeah. So, kung ngayon ay nandito tayo sa 4, 5, 6, sakto dapat sa, ano, no, within 16 to 20, no, pero minug siya ng 23 to uh, 27. Okay. So, I'm looking at my calendar. Eh. Sige, sige. At least may, may time din ako to, ano, to prepare the exams, no. So, don't worry on the exam. It will be easy. Hopefully, no? Because you will have 3 hours to do that. Pero pag, pag next week, i-ano na natin. I'll try to give you some multiple choice uh, simulation test already. Uh, ano na yun? Combination. Concepts saka applications ng derivative. Okay? So, just be ready with your reading. So, basa lang tayo. Yung, yung textbook natin, basahin lang natin. No? Ma ano naman siya eh. Very user-friendly yung book. Kaya yun ang pinili kong uh, babasahin. Okay. So, we thank the Lord for this. Let's... Uh, question po. Yes, yes. Sir, kasama po next week yung hyperbolic po or hindi po? Readings yun na yun. Magsisimula ko application na agad. 
readings yun na yung hyperbole. Pero di, pero sir, hindi na po siya kasama sa mga papagan niyo po sa application. Next week po. Uh, hindi ko masabi. Pero kailangan, kailangan yun. Kailangan yung uh, basahin yung... Uh, hindi ko na siya madidiscuss thoroughly the hyperbolic functions. Pero you need to read. Backup reading lang yun. Pero pagdating sa application, bihira siyang gamitin. Yung, honestly, bihirang gamitin yung hyperbolic function. Mostly trigonometric algebraic function yung may encounter natin. Okay, pero kailangan pa rin. Kailangan nyo pa rin basahin. Para makompleto natin yung yung calculus, no? At least yung kanyang uh, uh, minimum requirements for for differential calculus before we move to integral calculus. Okay? So, readings lang. Basa-basa lang naman. Kailangan nyo lang sundan yung line of thought, how to solve. Maraming sample problems dyan sa textbook nyo. Basa lang lang basa. Of course, you could try to answer exercises. No? Kasi sabi ko nga sa linear, pwede rin, pwede rin ako kumuha ng question dyan sa mga exercises. So, even the odd numbers, you could verify the answer because there are odd numbers. Odd number answers at the back as well. Okay? Sige, let's close in a word of prayer. Dale, do you have something to say before we close in a word of prayer? Wala naman na po, sir. Salamat po. Okay, so let's close. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time that you have uh, given to us in studying um, uh, this uh, algebraic uh, as well as the transcendental functions that includes uh, uh, the trigonometric function, logarithmic, exponential. All of these are part and parcel of our of the list of functions for for getting at the, the derivative of a function. Uh, this may be a past track, Lord, but I know by your grace, uh, we'll be able to to understand the concepts of derivative as applied to this different function. Help your student, Lord, uh, to be diligent, not only on our subject, but also to all of the courses that they, that they are taking in and that they may excel, uh, Lord. Uh, and help us prepare as uh, all of us, uh, the students, will be taking their uh, prelim examinations come the fourth week of uh, February as scheduled. We thank you, Lord, for the life of Micaela and Dale. Continually bless them. Also bless the ministries that you have entrusted to them in their respective churches. We thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. Uh, this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, see you, you see you on our week 5. Okay, be uh, readings lang ah. Okay. Sige, bye-bye. See you soon. Thank you po. Okay, God bless.